And tonight, the man who killed more than 20 people in a small Texas church escaped from a mental health facility five years ago after sneaking guns onto an Air Force base. 26-year-old Devin Patrick Kelly also had a history of domestic violence and had previously been charged with misdemeanor animal cruelty in Colorado. Research shows a clear connection between violence to animals and violence to people. Fox 25's Caroline Vandergriff looks at what's being done here in Oklahoma to prevent both. Caroline? Well, more than 100 law enforcement officers, social workers, and veterinarians spent the day here learning about the link between animal cruelty and violence to humans. And experts say addressing that connection between the two is key to keeping communities safe. The man who opened fire Sunday in a Texas church left behind no shortage of red flags in the years leading up to the attack. So almost a textbook case of this interconnection of all the different forms of violence. Devin Patrick Kelly served 12 months confinement after a 2012 court martial for beating his wife and baby stepson. He was also arrested on an animal cruelty charge in 2014 after a neighbor said he punched a dog and dragged it by the neck. We, we do see a strong connection and overlap between animal cruelty and various forms of interpersonal violence. The ASPCA says half of school shooters have histories of animal cruelty. In, in many of these cases, you know, the early history was not recognized or not reported or not responded to. And again, that seems to have been one of the failings in this case is people knew of prior abuses, certainly knew of, of the conviction on domestic violence and child abuse, and yet that fell through the cracks. It wasn't, didn't get into the system. That's why the Oklahoma Link Coalition brought law enforcement officers, social workers, and veterinarians together for a day-long training on the issue Tuesday. So really creating those connections and those networks um, is really what's going to help spread the message and, and help, um, help solve the problem. By getting different agencies talking to each other, they hope to better recognize those red flags and create a larger network to deal with them, ultimately helping prevent violence against both animals and people. Now, another important factor is the public recognizing animal abuse and reporting it so police can respond. They say they urge people, if you see something, say something. Back to you.